Let the galaxy burn. Hi guys, Skypoint here, and today I have a very exciting video to make, which I've been planning on doing for a while. So, a lot of people have noticed that I've accumulated a fair bit of gold, 31,600 gold, enough for 316 expansion crates. I've been hoarding this ever since I blew my gold um, on the extermination expansion a couple months back. And now um, I'm going to be buying a up to 316 Prospero crates to finish my collection. This is going to take a long time, so I'm going to fast forward through the crate opening and I'm going to just stop for anything really interesting only. Alright, but before I do that, I just want to talk a bit about crate strategy. So I wanted to take a look at the cards which I don't have right now. So if we go through and take a look at my card list. So from, Imp for the, Imp from the Imperial Army, I have absolutely none of the new cards from the, expan from the Prospero expansion. Similarly from Mechanicum, I'm missing all the new neutrals. And for Chaos, I'm missing all the new whoops, Chaos cards. Now, for the three legions themselves, from the Space Wolves, I'm only missing Liman Russ. From the Thousand Suns, I'm missing Pentu Dast, the um, Apothecary, and I'm missing Scrying for some reason. And then from the Legio Custodes, I'm missing pretty much every single Legendary apart from, uh, where's it gone down here, Tribune, I got Tribune. Okay, so uh, the important part over here is every card that I'm missing will show up in the store at some point, except for Constantine Valdor and for Liman Russ. So my crate opening strategy is going to be that I'm going to be opening up crates until I get either Liman Russ or Constantine Valdor. At which point I'm going to be just trying to buy the Legion crates for uh, that remaining faction. Because Space Wolves are not in store today, I'm hoping that if I that I get Liman Russ first and then I'll just buy Legio Custodes crates until I, until I hopefully get Constantine Valdor. Alright, that's enough talk. Let's go and begin the crate opening. Okay. Ooh, a legendary. This is great. The Paragon Spear. I, I've been wanting this card for a while. This is really important for so many Custodes builds. And you can actually see I got this now on my 28th crate, I believe. There's supposed to be a guarantee of a legendary every 30 crates. Epic, the Imperial Emissary. This guy's a bit lame though, I don't like it. Oh, that's a more useful epic. 
the halls of terror. I had one of these already, I needed a second one. This is a shame. I already have this particular legendary, so now my thirty count, my thirty crate timer, I think, will reset at this point. Ooh, nice, Vorax. I want two of these. So this guy was one of the new cards. It's going to be really powerful. I'm happy to get this one. Okay, that's my second Imperial Emissary. That's alright for a full collection. Guaranteed legendary will end up being Balak Uthazar, who I already have. So the next legendary should come up in the next 30 crates. Okay, Termalis support. I did not have these guys before, so that's nice to get. There we go. I already have this, so now my timer is reset. Next guarantee is going to be at uh, 180,000 gold. This guy is a uh, epic card, and I love the stats and effect on him. Good thing he came up.
Hey, I finally got a scrying. Okay, the card sucks, but it was one of the two cards missing from my uh, Thousand Suns collection. Well, I guess since you can have two scryings in your deck, technically it's one of three cards missing, because I still need a second scrying. Oh really? A second Paragon Spear? Oh, that sucks so much. Pyramid of Fotep. Yes, I am happy to see that here. Oh, nice. And my second Vorax, that's there too now. Great. Nice. Benediction of the Emperor. So this is one of the uh, Custodes legendary cards and it heals five to all of your units on the board and it makes your next troop or tactic cost zero. Nice. I like this. <laughs> Retreat. Okay, this will work really nicely in some of my Magnus deck. I'm gonna have to reimagine it. Okay, and that's my second term of this support squad. Awesome, that's a second warp retreat. I've got both of them now, that makes me a happy person. Coming. Oh man, that sucks. My le legendary was another duplicate of the Tsar. Ugh. <laughs> we 
guaranteed legendary was another duplicate. Oh man, Fenrisian wolves again. Ugh. Duplicate. I bought this guy a few days ago. That's annoying. Alright, well, at least I've got Domar now. Well, I already had him. Oh. Alright, so my next guaranteed duplicate is going to be at 2,900. <laughs> Another Caladius Annihilator, so the third one I picked up. Next guaranteed duplicate is at 2200. Corpse one. Ugh, another duplicate. Alright, 21 packs left to open. 21 crates. Another Fenrisian wolf. Oh my god.
and that's all. Okay, so let's take a look at what those new cards I got were. So, uh, we're going to go and go to the collection and take a look over here. So you can see I had no new cards for uh, Thousand Suns. Actually, wait, I did. I had Scrying for Thousand Suns. And I think that was it. I was really hoping to get Pen2 Das, but he didn't show up over there. Alright, for the Custodies, I did get a couple of new ones. So if we go down, I got Imperial Emissary. And then I also got, most importantly, and this is probably the best card I picked up, was Paragon Spear, the legendary for uh, uh, the Custodies. I did also pick up Termalis Support Squad, and I think that's all. I already had uh, Tribune and Caladius Annihilator from before. Ironically, Caladius Annihilator came up like three times while opening crates. And then, of course, I did get Benediction. So, all in all, not bad. I think I got most of the legendaries now. I'm missing Michaela Corbinus, who boosts neighboring units, who I actually think is one of the best ones. And, of course, I'm missing the legendary warlord, Constantine Valdor. So now I kind of have to hope I get him in event reward crates. Okay. So, what else? Let's go back and out of this view. Now comes the fun part. So, what do we get for the new neutral factions? Chaos, I'm most happy with. Because for Chaos, I managed to get two warp retreats. I also did get a silent death. I got all of I think I got the full set of those, but most importantly, I got the pyramid of Fotep. So that's amazing. That's a fantastic tactic generating building. From the Imperial Army, I got two catacombs of Tishka. I did get the where's it gone down here? Uh orders from Terra. I got both sets of those. I also got both sets of Malkador's observers. I think what I was missing was, you know, and I also did get Orbital Bombardment, so I think I now have, okay, no, Edict of Censure, the new Legendary was still missing. Apart from that, I have all of the Imperial Army cards. And then the really fun part was from Mechanicum. Let's go take a look there. So from the Mechanicum, I picked up, as we go down here, in fact, let's go to all cards so I can see what's missing. In fact, I think I picked up everything. Yeah, I did. There's nothing missing from my Mechanicum collection, so I gained all of the new Mechanicum units. Um, the only problem is, for Security or Axiarch, I only gained one of them, whereas there's two which are available, so I'll have to wait for a chance to get that. And I think that's all that was missing. So anyhow, not bad. I was really hoping to get um, Liman Russ or Constantine Valdor, but um, I'll just have to wait for those. The... Uh, I guess the only mitigating factor is neither Liman Rust nor Constantine Valdor are probably the best warlords for their factions. So I think I have enough now to put together Custodes decks and definitely already had enough of Space Wolves decks. So I've got some interesting couple of days ahead. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to uh, subscribe and hopefully soon I'll be releasing my thoughts on the Thousand Suns nerfs. So until then, bye for now guys.